Hey guys, my name is Amina. Welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below. <clears throat> so this is your um, weekly timeless um, love reading. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the earth signs. And um, yeah, we'll find out your current energy, what to look out for this week and what is the advice. <clears throat> I apologize for any background noise. Um, I can hear my son. Okay, so you've got the Justice card, the Six of Cups in the reverse, and the Page of Cups in your current energy. Um, so right now you might be dealing with something big, okay? Legal matters, divorce, so just finding balance in a situation that uh, feels out of whack. You know, justice is about fairness. So there's a strong energy here of wanting what's right and deserved. So whether it's about a relationship ending or trying to find harmony in, in one that's still going, there's some kind of focus on making sure everything is evened out. So you might be um, weighing your options. You might be figu figuring out what's fair or maybe just trying to restore balance to, to something that felt off for a while. Um, with the Six of Cups reversed here, this is some re unresolved... Um, <clears throat> childhood trauma maybe because the um you know and, and justice card can also be about karma sometimes and the six of cups in the reverse could be about bad memories um so this is yeah some kind of emotional baggage so you might be reflecting on things from your past you know instead of those warm nostalgic feelings that you get from the six of six of cups it's more about working through old wounds and these past experiences that are playing some kind of role in, in your present. So especially when it comes to relationships, um, you know, the past might be clouding how you see the present or making it harder for you to kind of move forward with clarity. Okay. With the page of cups here, you know, despite all this heaviness, there's uh, someone here who can't stop thinking about you. I feel like you're in their mind, uh, whether they're saying it or not, it's that sweet energy, you know, someone holding you in their thoughts. Um, maybe they're not fully expressing it yet. It's like they're emotionally connected to you, but they're not really showing the full depth of their feelings. Um, yeah, so you know, these cards together kind of show that you're dealing with a bigger, heavier matter. Um, there's still some kind of softness there, okay? But someone is kind of thinking about you, even if the timing isn't perfect. Yeah, so what to look out for? <clears throat> Six of Pentacles reversed, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Swords. So Six of Pentacles reversed is, um, this is about uh, something that is not balanced, uh, not reciprocal. Um, maybe bringing up some regrets, maybe some kind of apologies. Um, I'm seeing someone in your life might be feeling sorry that they couldn't give you what you needed. You know, they may have taken taken more than they gave in the relationship. Um, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse could be about being breadcrumbed, you know, and, and now they're kind of realizing how unbalanced things were. So this, this lack of reciprocity has created some kind of tension. And there's a sense of someone wishing that they could have done more for you, but knowing that they didn't live up to what was needed. With the Eight of Swords here, it's it's a feeling of being trapped. So someone, whether it's you or the other person, feels like they just couldn't express themselves fully or they can't express themselves fully. <clears throat> it's that frustrating energy, you know, where the words are stuck and, and no matter how much you want to communicate, it feels like you're locked in a cage of your own making, right? So this card is all about feeling stuck in your head uh, or just unable to speak up about how you really feel. Um, with the Five of Swords here, it's about conflict, right? There's, uh, there's some kind of manipulation and outside influences that might have played a role in things falling apart. So someone might have let others get in the head or it kind of led to a ghosting or pulling away when they didn't really want to. So it's, it's that regret of letting other people's opinions or pressures cause them to walk away from you. So even though it wasn't what they truly wanted, you know, it's, 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 um, it's, it's a lot of energy around missed chances or kind of like miscommunication or something like that. Okay, so what is the advice? <clears throat> King of Cups, Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords reversed.
this is somebody who truly cares about you. There's somebody who tr de deeply, deeply cares about you, you know, and they don't show it because the King of Cups is somebody who kind of regulates the emotions. So there's a lot of, a lot going on there, but they don't show it. Um, you know, he's, he's very emotionally mature, the King of Cups, but, you know, they don't always show how, how much is on the surface. Um, yeah, the, sorry, they don't show how much they care on the surface. So this person values you, you know, the, the, the value. They might even be holding back on expressing just how much you mean to them. There's a depth of, of emotion here that that's not being fully communicated. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quietly beneath that surface. With the Eight of Wands here, it's all about distance, about travel. So there could be physical distance between you and this person, or maybe some kind of emotional boundaries that have been set. Um, this energy kind of talks about the space that space is necessary right now. So whether that's a temporary separation to figure things out, or maybe just simply put up boundaries to protect your heart, um, things might be things might be moving quickly here as well. Um, but this is a space that, but this space could be what's needed, right? This um, this uh, distance, emotional distance, physical distance is, is what's needed to gain some kind of clarity, even though things are moving, you know, that th th there's still some kind of progression here. Um, yeah, with the Knight of Swords, especially with the Knight of Swords right next to it, it's, uh, this is fast moving, you know, it's an intense card. And, you know, it's coming through with that, um, <clears throat> something, someone is either moving on or they're moving too fast for things to catch up, you know, so they could, um, they could be asking you not to hold up for them. Um, this person, uh, you know, this, this card kind of brings in that energy of release. So they could be letting go of waiting and realizing that moving forward might be the best option, whether that's to you or away from you. I don't know. Yeah. So that's all I have for you for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in.